Homemade muffins have never been easier. I'm going to teach you a little trick I like to keep up my sleeve by changing pancake mix into four delicious flavors of muffins. What is up you guys? It is Carly here and you are officially cooking with Carly. I am teaching you today how to make the easiest and tastiest muffins of your life. We are starting with a pancake mix. This is a pancake mix that you only need to add water to. So make sure when you go to the store, make sure to grab the pancake mix that only add water. We only need a few other ingredients for our base recipe for the muffins. Just some granulated sugar, milk, an egg, and some melted butter. Today we're going to be making four varieties, blueberry muffins, chocolate chip muffins, double chocolate muffins, and lemon poppy seed. Each full recipe will make 12 muffins. So today I'm making four different flavors out of the one base recipe, which will give us three muffins of each flavor. To make our muffin base, we are going to just add in all of these ingredients to the pancake mix and mix them together. Depending on what flavor of muffin you choose, the amounts of each of these ingredients are going to be slightly different, so I'm not going to give you ingredient amounts right now, but go into the description below and click on the flavor of muffin you want to make and all of the information will be right there for you. I just wanna show you how easy it is today. So sugar is added in our milk, an egg, And lastly, this melted butter. You can mix this together with like a wooden spoon. I'm just going to use my hand mixer because it's a little easier. Just mix until it's all combined. I'm going to separate this batter out into four different bowls so we can get to making all four of our flavors and I'm going to be snappy about it. See, told you I was gonna make it snappy. <laughs> okay, here's all the things we need. For the lemon poppy seed variety, all you need is a fresh lemon and some poppy seeds. We're going to zest the lemon a little bit and use some of that lemon juice. Chocolate chip muffins, all we need are chocolate chips. I use the mini ones because, you know, more chocolate in every bite. For the chocolate muffins, these ones are probably the most complicated. You need some cocoa powder, a little extra milk, and some chocolate chips. And for the blueberry muffins, you just need blueberries. You can use frozen blueberries, which is what I have here, or fresh blueberries. If you're a big muffin fan, make sure to give this video a big old thumbs up. <laughs> and subscribe with the notification bells so you don't miss out of miss out of <sighs> so you never miss any of my recipe videos that will bring you lots of yummy deliciousness into your life and also in the comments below let me know which flavor of pancake mix muffin you're planning on making first. Now the only thing left to do is bake these in the oven. We're going to bake them at 400 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes. Keep an eye on them so they don't get too crispy. It will depend on you know your exact oven, the time. A few tips on your chocolate and chocolate chip muffins. I love the look of chocolate chips on top of the muffin, but because we're cooking at 400 degrees, they will get a little charred if you put them on before you bake your muffins. So bake your muffins and then as soon as they come out, I like to put just a few little chocolate chips on top and they will melt into the muffin and just look really pretty. Okay, let's spoon these into our muffin pan. Whoa. Don't walk too fast with that. Voila, we are done. These are ready for the oven. Like I said, these go in for 12 to 15 minutes on 400 degrees. See you in a few minutes. 
and we'll get to eating some muffins. My kitchen smells like a bakery. Those muffins just came out of the oven. Let me go pull them over here and we can take a peek. This is like a masterpiece of muffins here. So we have our lemon poppy seed, chocolate chip, double chocolate, and our blueberry muffin. Again, each one of these recipes is in the description below in a link you can go and find the full recipe to make the entire dozen batch. Next time you have a hankering for a muffin, you don't need to run to the grocery store to get a muffin mix. You don't need to make them from scratch with a bajillion ingredients. All you need is some pancake mix and a few other items and you will have perfectly made muffins. Should we try this chocolate, this chocolate one? Mm, they're so moist. Mm. Good chocolate flavor. I think the chocolate chip ones are my favorite though. I just love like I, oh. that is like the mini chocolate chips really make this. Mm. Yeah, those are good. Those are definitely my favorite, I think. 